And welcome to tropical Queensland and a little birdie in the pool. And a bubble raining. This is some hot day. It's a hot day. Oh, what a big yawn. And it's raining. She says, it is, that is raining out here. They've got the piggy bedding out. It's been hosed down. Now it's been washed by the rain. Yeah. Welcome to the tropics. Yeah, Bonnie would know what this is like. It's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Got a hot doggy, a dried up pool. Uh, not much water left in that. Dried up grass. The orange is doing well. And the uh, peach, which has dropped most of its fruit now, because uh, after the first it got attacked by the rats, and then by the bats, and finally the fruit fly have got to whatever's left. So uh, I think it's another lost cause this year for getting any peaches. They're all being attacked by fruit fly. Yeah, the yellow buckets for the fruit fly and the plastic that I've got wrapped around the trunks is for the rats. Stop the rats from climbing up. And that's also for the rats. Uh, my apricot, which has flowered twice, but no fruit on it. Not yet, it's too young. There's another tree in down there somewhere which is an Australian uh, bottle brush uh, no, no, uh, acacia acacia one um, weird really long name there on that tr tree so that's a new one just these that's just been planted not that long ago a couple of weeks ago about two weeks ago the yesterday, today and tomorrow and pretty much so what the uh, yesterday is is the there are deep purple flower then it goes to a less purple flower and then to a white flower which is tomorrow so they go white so they start off with deep purple then they go to a, a mauve and then a white apple tree has got some flowers on it and it has some down here no fruit yet only got one tiny little apple last year off it and the uh, the mandarin has got lots of little fruit on it a lot of them are going yellow because this tree is very young again really too young to fruit to get anything off it and this thing that I thought was a nectarine Auntie Louise next doors says that it's a pineapple uh, guava so a little a little fruit that tastes like pineapples and you make desserts out of it and you can make a liqueur out of it the most popular is, is jam the last one is my lemon which has got a couple of dying lemons on it but these two might come up to something that one and that one there oh look at her she, she's I'm not silly like you guys get standing out in the rain. I'm undercover here. 
nice and dry. Mm. Well, we're coming in too because my camera's getting wet and it's not waterproof. Unfortunately, we've lost a, a few trees here, I think. So, that's the banks here, another banks here. That's the one I planted. Unfortunately, this one died. And I've got no idea what this is. It's just some ground cover that I got. That one's another ground cover. I got two of those, planted one out the front. Um, this one died. And an acacia that died. I had two of those, and they both died. They didn't like the uh, the temperature got to them, the climate. Because that's unfortunate. The thing is that they they grow these in glass houses, and when you take them out of a glass house, they usually die off. They don't like the transition. Do they, sweetie? Do you know? mm. <laughs> Oh, baby. Well, see you later, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully, we get some cool weather. It's not looking like it's going to really drop much below about 85 five for the next few days so I think summer is here and we're supposed to get thunderstorms as well so we'll see see us later everyone have a fantastic day